So uh, any, any questions before we get started? Ideas for what perceptions people had coming into this? Things you might want to get out of it? I definitely like to, to keep this interactive and uh, talk about things that are of interest to you. I don't want to just bore you with a bunch of PowerPoint slides, so I'll try to, try to ask you some questions, get, get some feedback on what we're doing. We're always trying to, uh, you know, what we do as a business is, is uh, a lot of consulting around this, so I'm always spending time with our, our clients all over the country trying to understand what they're looking for, find out what's coming next, and, and how that's gonna, gonna apply to them. And this is such a rapidly evolving space. I hear a, a new story that sort of puts a new twist to it almost every day. So uh, any anecdotal stories and stuff you have, share with us, or, or after this, we're glad to, glad to talk about uh, it. So please fill out the uh, evaluation forms. I know that's something that's uh, really important part of uh, making data center world and the, the things that AFCOM does better and uh, helps them get more uh, interesting presentations that really apply to what you're looking for. So uh, be, be critical and fair. And a little about me and, and XRP. Uh, my name is Brett Coover. I'm the CTO at XRP, also the managing partner and uh, an active consultant. Uh, I spend a lot of time with our clients and, and have so uh, over the last, it's been almost 20 years now working on different areas of IT, almost everything but real hardcore programming. So systems, I've uh, worked a lot in data centers, virtualization, uh, networking, storage, security, pretty much anything in the infrastructure world, you name it, I, I, I've been there from small business to large business and I've, I've been really lucky to work across to a number of different markets, everything from different service provider areas to uh, helping some hosting companies build out, uh, you name it, financial, healthcare, uh, construction, supply chain. And uh, I've been lucky enough to be involved in a lot of different data center initiatives from building out, you know, retrofitting, building out data centers, uh, making some pretty drastic changes, you know, obviously in density, those sort of things since, uh, since the early 90s. And uh, virtualization has really hit with, with a force over the last 10 years. And it's been a little over 10 years now since, since some of the initial technologies came out, but it's really been only the, over the last four or five years that it's gotten interesting. And now they're you know, reapplying things like cloud, or you could talk about software as a service, or ASP, and a lot, or, or SOA, service-oriented architecture. I think a lot of those same concepts uh, apply. And uh, so that's a lot of, of what we do with, uh, with, with XTRP. That's, that's the company I'm with. And so we, we provide consulting services. We work a lot in the data center space. So that, that gives you a little bit of background on what we do. Uh, we have another session later on. I, I'd encourage you all, uh, especially those of you who are interested in the, the uh, consolidation, data center transformation, migration, those aspects at 1.30. I'm not, do you know what room it's in, Brandy? It's, it's P15 is the, the Lincoln. OK, thanks, Brandy. Everybody, this, this is Brandy. She's our, our, our marketing director and helps me uh, keep it all together doing these shows. And uh, feel free to get her or, or, or me if you have any questions. Um, I was working with Walmart.com uh, with, with an affiliate of theirs back in the 99 to 2000. I don't usually drop names, but that was a it was an interesting experience. It was being such a huge company and being a supply another large company being a supplier to them, I, I, I learned a great a great number of lessons building out a data center for this provider back in it's really between 99 and 2001 and building out the services and really getting to understand the the level of service and the resiliency. I'm, I'm sure many of you are, are familiar with the, the differences in service levels and customer expectations from, from then to now, especially around uh, internet-oriented type services. Now it's uh, mandatory to be you know, five nines or better, whereas is back then there were very few companies, some like Walmart, that really expected that kind of level of service and the technologies weren't necessarily there to provide that. So I took a lot of lessons from that, and something we've been working, working on over the last few years, something called Virtual Data Center. We had some other names for it. It was before cloud and all that. We called it liquid infrastructure. This is uh, when I was with a different consulting company. And uh, what we put together was, was sort of a, a platform a, approach, and it was, it's kind of, it was kind of ahead of its time as the technologies weren't really there yet. But the idea of virtualizing everything in your data center from network to compute to storage and providing everything, and, and what we were sort of looking at at the time is there wasn't as much talk about cloud or anything like that. ASP had kind of faded. 
software as a service was kind of nebulous, so it was, it, at that time, SOA, as I'm sure many of you ran across, was, was really some of the hot terminology. And we really put a wrap around it in that way. And it's interesting now that, that I'd stepped away from it for a couple of years and I'm now back in it. Uh, now they're calling it cloud. If you go look at VMware's and HP's website, a lot of those companies, they're all, uh, they're all calling it cloud and they're all talking about virtual data centers. But it's all really the same, the same concept. It's not a matter of a cloud being something different. And I'm assuming so many of you running your own data centers that uh, cloud isn't necessarily a drastic change in how things are operating. It's just a new way in which you present your services and applications to your end users. What I've been hearing from all the executives that, that I've spoken to over the last couple of years, that there's, there's a real imperative around virtualization and really getting more out of IT and, and standardizing. And it's the same message you heard with SOA and th those different areas, but how can I commoditize those IT services and deliver them to my end user in a more usable way? So I think that it, it's fairly obvious that the, the cloud imperative is upon us. In fact, some recent CIO polls from last year said that it's in almost everybody's top five list, and for most of them, they'll be without a job if they don't at least address the issue in one way or another, virtualization and cloud, at some point in 2010. So I think it's fair to say it's a pretty hot topic, and I would assume by the number of people that, that, that show, has shown up to the session today, hey, come on in. Just, just getting started. No problem at all. So I, I think it's fair to say it's a, a, a pretty important area. In, I, I find more times than not I end up in a, a CFO's office talking about why are we going to do this, what, what's the value of change, why are we going to forklift things, or why are we going to make any drastic platform investments, especially in a time when you know, costs are really tight, we want to try to avoid complexity, but what they're really asking for is more, more flexibility. How can we have better service quality? How can we protect the revenue we have and, and, and gain more revenue? How can we get a better competitive advantage? How can we have you know, faster time to market? And all, all these values and more, including green, which for most CFOs, not all, is, is synonymous with cost savings, not synonymous with corporate social responsibility, which is a nice benefit of doing that. And I think that we can all appreciate that, but there's a business realities behind green as well. You're not going to spend twice as much to build a green platform unless, well, you're, you're a certain type of organization that's going to require that. Uh, 